Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valinda. I'm a green and happy mom and I'm passionate about teaching you to live as sustainably as possible for you and your family. And if that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button below and never miss out on my new videos. What are we doing today? Today, well you can't really see it in here. We're making a lotion. And it's a very simple lotion. It has only five ingredients. The water phase has, you guessed it, water and a humectant. And I chose a very affordable and easy to use humectant, glycerin. And for the oil phase, we obviously have an oil. I chose argan oil, but you could use any oil you love. Jojoba oil is also a great oil to use in your skincare. And I chose an emulsifier because naturally oils and water, they don't really like each other and they need some encouragement to properly mix them. The emulsifier I chose is Olivem 1000. This is a natural emulsifier. So this lotion is completely natural, meaning the ingredients are eco-certified. Even my preservative is eco-certified, but I know Olivem 1000 isn't easily available everywhere. And you could also substitute it with emulsifying wax and F or Polo wax. But I don't remember for sure, but I thought these were not completely natural. But if you just want to make a simple lotion, those will work just fine. But what about beeswax? I'm not a fan of using beeswax in my lotions. I've worked with it and I found out that I am allergic to beeswax, which is the main reason I'm not using beeswax. Secondly, beeswax is an animal product. Don't like using animal products in my skincare. And beeswax is not an emulsifier. It's not a stable emulsifier because it will mix oils and waters to some extent, but your final lotion will not be stable. Meaning after a couple days, weeks, it will split. Then you have again your oil and your water phase. With a decent emulsifier, you don't have this problem. So please, when you make your own lotion, choose a good emulsifier like Olivem 1000. Let's get making. Okay, we're making a completely natural lotion. And like every lotion, the largest part of the lotion is water. And we're using 37 grams of water. And to our water, we add two and a half grams of glycerin. This is our water phase and now we're doing the oil phase. First our emulsifier. This makes sure that the oils we're using and the water we're using will mix. This is Olivem 1000. We're using two and a half grams. And we're adding our oil, seven and a half grams. I'm using argan oil, but you could use any oil you love. Seven and a half grams. At this moment, we can't mix it because the emulsifier, the olivem, is solid. So we need to melt it, and we're gonna do that in a hot water bath. I add about an inch, two to three centimeters of hot water. This is boiling water. Adding our water and oil, and therefore we use water, and therefore we use heat resistant beakers. I'm gonna put this on a low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes to melt everything. Okay, everything is hot and melted through. And I'm gonna add my water. bit. 
and then I'm gonna remove it. Obviously, we need to stir it a little bit more than what I'm doing just now. Therefore, we're using a stick blender. This fits this beaker perfectly. This needs to cool for a bit. And in the meantime, we're gonna wait our preservative. I'm using an EcoSurf preservative to make sure that our formulation remains natural. I'm using 1% and as we make a 50 ml batch, I'm using a half a gram. We're gonna add this when our lotion is cooled down properly. So putting this to the side and this needs to be, yeah, it's still very liquidy. Very liquidy. We need to wait some more and then we're gonna stir some more. So it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna give it another stir. Thickened up a bit. Quite a bit. We're gonna add our last ingredient because it's cooled sufficiently. Gonna measure the pH just to be sure. We're adding one gram of lotion with nine grams of water to make a 10% sol solution. I want the pH to be somewhere between 5 and 6 because our skin is that pH. It's 5.7. 5.6, 5.7. Yep, perfect. No need to adjust the pH. So we're gonna put our lotion in a jar. My ingredients for DIYing my lotions often come in glass. And obviously, I use them just like this one. And with what's left, I can give a demonstration. A bit too much. Nice, nice lotion. Very simple, completely natural, no synthetic ingredients. It's perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.